Welcome back friends and hello new friends. In this video, we're taking y'all through a quick 10 minute hair transformation on this under $30 Amazon wig, headband wig that I am totally in love with the look on this. So in this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to prep your hair. We'll be reviewing this hair and as well as talking about my opinion on this hair. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial. So before we are going to review the wig, take it out of this package, we have to care for our natural hair. This is a natural hair channel. Just because we're doing a protective style doesn't mean we ignore our natural hair. We still need to take care of it and prep it for the protective style. So we're gonna go through those motions on how I care for my natural hair when I do any protective style. So I'm going in with three products, well, two products and some water. So I'm going in with some water Water, and then I'm also going to be going in with the Texture ID Styling Cream and the Flawless Exotic Oil. My growth has been going pretty well. Uh, my last haircut was uh, probably about eight months ago. So this is all growth from my last cut. And when I last cut it off, I was like completely bald, walking around with a fade and waves. So it's nice to see that my hair has grown so much within those few months. But I've been doing nothing but a bunch of protective style, wearing wigs. Um, but I'm really itching to be able to put braids back in my hair. And I want to be rocking me some freaking box braids by the summer. All right, let's get into opening this. I haven't even like picked it out. Though. So here's the bag. Their card stamped glorious talks about their wigs that they sell on Amazon and then oh it came with a wig cap that's so nice and it looks like it's probably my no it's not and here we have a keychain oh my daughters will love that a little keychain with some Snoopy stickers inside um, it came with some lashes as well um, and then it came with three head wraps i have a leopard one this like silky printed one and then i have a brown one with buttons on the side so i went and looked these up like with the with these buttons i've seen that this is what people use to put their mask on so it's not on your ears it's on the buttons um i guess i'll give it a try i'll give it a try here is the hair so it is uh, 20 inches long here's the hair it's 20 inches long and as you can see it has that mix of brown and blondes in there um it is a synthetic wig attached all right so here is the oh gosh she's she like she's gonna tangle very easily like just by looking at it um she has some movement, she has some movement, but it feels like the more I move it, the more she's gonna get tangled, like she's one of those wigs. On the inside, we have three clips in the front, two on the side, one in the middle, and then of course the notorious clip in the back, so a total of four clips. This is what her mesh looks like, and then you have some lace up here at the top, and then her band, of course, nice and stretchy, so it's fitted for all head sizes, and then you have your Velcros, typical little headband wig. So let's try her on, and let me go ahead and grab my brush, because we're going to have to brush her out. So... I really like the color on it. I wish it was more darker at the roots though because it's not really matching unless I pull the band all the way up. But I usually like to let my baby hair show a little bit. So let me let me brush her out. She's super synthetic. She is just, I mean.
All right, let's bring y'all over here to the talking table because we we need to talk about it. Let, let, let's talk about it. Now it's time for my honest opinion. So starting out, taking the wig out of the package, I'm not crazy about package. I've mentioned that before on my channel, but some people are. They like to have all the bells and whistles when it comes to packaging. Why? I don't know, because it's all gonna end up in my trash can. Irregardless, it came in this basic plastic bag that they sealed up for you in a hairnet with their tag attached to it. Pretty basic for me and perfectly fine, because like I mentioned before, it's all gonna go in the trash. The first initial feel of the hair I know it is synthetic, like there is just no fooling with it. Like it is absolutely synthetic, like super, super shiny plastic. This is a synthetic wig, like Barbie doll hair. And I, I, I'm not gonna lie, sitting here looking cute in front of this camera, you know, I look like a Barbie doll. Also, all well, all well, but if I want this wig to last more than three wears, I'm gonna need it to be a a little bit better quality than this. I mean, granted, it is on under thirty dollars. Expectations for it wasn't extremely high, but damn, it is heck. <laughs> the whole time filling the hair, all I kept thinking and all that was playing in my head was, "I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world," like that. That's playing continuously in my head even now as I'm sitting here recording this video so I'll try to keep it together seriousness seriousness but like I said I'm gonna give you my honest opinion the best analogy that I can think of is you know those you know cute little club wear outfits that you get from like rainbows or forever 21 those little cheap ten dollar five dollar outfits that you pick up because you know you're only gonna wear it for like maybe one night and then if it's really cute you like dang I want to try to get a second you know outfit out of this shirt or top or sweater whatever it is that you purchase for five dollars this is what that wig reminds me of like it is a wig that I wear out and when I come back home it is not gonna be seen once I put it in that washer and that dryer it has shrunken three times its size and it's just no longer a shirt or <laughs> or a pair of pants that I can put on anymore I feel like that's that's what I'm going to be experiencing with this wig now granted I just put it on, haven't worn it no more than 20 minutes sitting here recording, but I know my regular route, regular, regular just day of running errands or if I go to work, when I come back home after my eight hour shift or how many hours I do running an errand, that this wig is going to be extremely tangled and probably very hard to bring back to life. It's under $30. So with most under $30 wigs, you should expect to only be able to wear it once. I feel like that's just kind of like a gimme. I mean, it looks good. It looks good looking at a camera. If I was to take some pictures, no one would know. No one, no one would know. Okay, but I know that this is, this is, yeah, this is just not that longevity type of wig. It's just not. If, if I just needed this to take a quick photo shoot or if I needed this just to have a night out with my girls and I wanted a different look to switch it up real quick and it's not going to take me an hour and a half to do it or something I could just throw on and look super cute with, this is the wig you're going to want. Anything after that, don't expect any. Don't have high expectations after that. But, um, I didn't stand up for you guys so you can see where exactly it falls. And I... I I put pants on for you guys because usually when I sit in my room I do not wear pants so you know applaud me because that that's that's an achievement all right so it's front a little bit below my boobs I got small ones though so if you have big ones I'll probably just sit right on top but for mine it falls right at my boobs and then the back it is right below bra strap so as you can see all I have been doing I'm sorry, I'm talking to the wall, but as all, I, all I've been doing for this past 15, 20 minutes is sitting here in the camera looking at y'all and I can already see that the back is super tangled already. It, it is, it, especially in the back, it, it can be very difficult to detangle and I feel like I'm snagging the wig a lot. And then once I am done brushing it, I have shed hair everywhere. Um, I don't even know if the camera will pick up on all of the hair just from those 
couple of brushes um, and it's all in my lap too. I'm going to attempt to try to get it in a bun. All right, so there's a bun. So we can't get a bun. We can't get a bun. Nice little cute, messy bun. So it does, it does do that. Now, what I do like about this wig is the color. I absolutely love the color. Though I do wish that the roots came darker, so it kind of looked like I had a nice fade from dark to blonde. It's okay because we have this headband here, so it gives the illusion that that's probably what's going on. We're going from dark to the blonde or brown. So this was a nice change of pace for my headband wigs because all of my headband wigs come in black. So um, I do absolutely love the color. That was my main reason of purchasing it was because of the color. Most headband wigs only come in that natural black that you see everywhere, which is fine because you want to give the illusion that it's your natural hair. So this was a nice change of pace to see this nice brown. Another plus side is under $30, honey. Like, so if you're willing to outlook those cons that I mentioned before, because it's under $30. I do like the variety of the headbands that they gave me. I really like this one. Like this one really grew on me. At first I pulled it out and I was like, what am I supposed to do with this little strap of silk? But it's actually kind of cute. Uh, I'm gonna take that comment back. But um, they give me the headband that has little buttons for your mask. And then of course your traditional leopard print uh, headband, which I feel like every headband wig that I purchase, it comes with one of these. So I have plenty of these. Uh, a, a slew of leopard head, handbag prints. And then this one is a solid color brown, so I feel like that can really go with any outfit that I want it to. And then you have this nice printed one, which I I like the most out of all of them, to be honest with you, I really do. It's like, it's just giving me 90s vibes, so I don't know. And just nostalgic. <laughs> I will leave the link for this wig down in the description box for you guys to purchase it. it like I said, it's on Amazon, under $30. If you ain't ran over there to purchase it yet, I mean, what you waiting on at this point? Cause it's a $30 wig. Throw on, go. This is definitely gonna be considered my grocery store wig where I just need to put on something real quick and run out the door. If you do happen to purchase this wig, please tag us on, or tag me, tag me on Instagram. Our Instagram page is also linked below. Go ahead and follow us because we are definitely looking for some new besties to talk to about hair and makeup and outfits. Like we just, I, I get tired of buying stuff and only having my husband to talk to it about. He don't know what the heck I be talking about most of the time. So please, by all means, follow us on Instagram and tag us in this look if you're really feeling this blonde. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already already subscribed to putting up with the pom-poms for more tutorials on hair and all things uh, hair and uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you are really if you really like this wig i like the wig but i'm gonna always give my honest review and this just isn't a five star wig it is a very good cheap 30 dollar wig that i can throw on and make a look out of in a heartbeat that's about it for me but Sometimes that's all you need in a wig. You need a wig where you just need a quick look. This is that wig. And I'm okay with that. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see y'all on another video. Please be blessed and be safe.